W1HEQH54 back again, and again, I'm glad you could make it. In the last episode, we went as far as applying cooling epoxy to the left side of the vertical stabilizer to form a hard scratch resistant surface for our mold. In today's episode, we will begin the process of laminating, and hopefully end up with a completed mold section so that you can see what all is involved. I had received many messages from people who had wanted to try this for some time, but have concerns with mastering the process. Much of the information that you will see when researching the construction of an epoxy mold, will involve warnings of what not to do. Whether it is concerning resin contamination from using inexpensive waxed bathroom cups as you have seen me use, or whether it is in adhering to a disciplined laminating schedule, I can assure you that much of it is outside the scope of the home hobbyist. In this video I will attempt to demonstrate the robustness of this process, by deviating from a typical laminating schedule in an effort to dispel some of your hesitation and concern. Hopefully you will see an inherent flexibility that is sufficient to allow you to construct a mold in your off time during the week, while you work during the day, and even sleep at night. Well here we go.
Well, I think you'll agree that I really stretched that out. Normally, I don't have time for 14 hours in between laminating layers, but I wanted to show you what is possible. You'll notice that I did not even grip the surface after waiting that long to lay down another layer. Everything you read will tell you not to do this, but as you can see, we still have a completed whole section. I know it doesn't look pretty yet, but we'll get into that in the next video. Then we trim, polish, and finish it up so that we can get on to the next section. Until then, peace and love.